Hey guys, I'm Josh McHugh, and I'm here to review my uh, iPod Classic. Um, I'm making this for my friend Ethan. Uh, his username is Zero Gucci Man, and uh, he's looking into buying one of these. So I just wanted to uh, review this for him. Um, this is the 160 gigabyte model in black. Um, Let's just uh, look at the outside of it. The back is all silver. As you can see, I put a uh, Skull Candy sticker on there. Um, it's got the 160GB uh, emblem right there. iPod logo goes here. And if you get any special engravings, which you can do at the Apple website, I have mine right up here. Um, as you can see, or you could probably see, the back of it is extremely scuffed up, you got scratches and everything everywhere. Um, it does come with the uh, a little plastic protective back so it doesn't get scratched, but it's really not designed to stay on there. It kind of just comes right off. Um, the uh, cable port is right there for plugging into your computer and charging it or syncing it. The uh, headphone jack is right here on the top, and then there's the lock switch right here. When you see the orange, it's locked. When you see the uh, black, I guess, when there's not the orange, it is unlocked. And then the front of it, we have the wheel here uh, with menu, skip forward, skip backward, play and pause, and then the center button is to select. Um, I'll press menu and take you back to the main menu. Here we have music, videos, photos, podcasts, extra settings, shuffle songs, and now playing. Um, they have a nice slideshow of all your album covers right here while you're sitting on the menu. Um, to navigate, you uh, scroll your thumb around the wheel. It is pretty sensitive, so uh, yeah. And then just hit the center button for music and then under music you have your cover flow which takes you to this you could flow through all your different albums that you have I have a lot and then there's a uh, genius mixes which if you go to your iTunes and turn on genius mixes it'll uh, create playlists for you I believe that's how that works I haven't tried it yet and then you have your playlist which uh, you can create on iTunes. Artists, albums, compilations, songs, genres, composers, audiobooks, and you can search, which I'll show you that feature right now. You just go up to the top of your search menu where it says search here. And uh, to delete letters, hit the back button. And to, a, to uh, create a space, I'll just show you an example here. Just type in AD, I guess. And then to create a space, just hit the next button. And then once you've typed in all the letters you want to type in before you search, just hit menu and scroll around until you find what you're looking for. And then I'll take you to the videos menu and go to movies. Um, I'll show you an example of what the movies look like on this screen. If it'll show up. This here is uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Um, I'll turn the screen brightness up for a second. There you go. Um, as you can see, it takes up the whole screen. Um, the screen is smaller than my thumb. Um, it appears to be very small, but when you're actually watching movies on it, it uh, it is very easy to see. Comes in nice and clear. Not. Uh, not something you have to look at really closely to try and see what it is because the screen is not really as small as it looks. Um, but yeah, when you're watching a movie, just adjust the brightness by hitting the uh, center button three times and just adjust the brightness here. I like to keep my brightness kind of low. It saves battery. Um, and then on iTunes, you could do rentals. You could buy TV shows, music videos. Uh, you could create a video playlist. 
and then your, there's your settings. Uh, TV out is for if you have a cable, you could plug it into your TV and watch movies on your TV. And then uh, just a bunch of other things, like you could turn on captions and subtitles and everything. And uh, next I'll take you to, oh, I, I don't have any photos, so we can't do that. Podcasts. Um, same as any other iPod, you, uh, sign up for a podcast and it syncs all your newest episodes and you view them just like you would watch any other video. Extras, we have clocks, calendars, contacts, you can put in a phone contact list and whatever else. Um, alarms, games. Uh, let me show you the games really quick, actually. Um, we have iQuiz which if you go in there there is quizzes based on uh, movies music and TV shows you can also do trivia based on the music that is currently on your iPod which I think that is a fun thing to do except now I have so much music on here I don't even know all the information about everything um, we have Klondike which I do not know how to play um, actually, let, let's open iQuiz really quick, just so I can show you what that's like. There we go. Nice little title screen. And we'll go to New Game. And I'm going to do Music Quiz 2, because it quizzes you on the music that's already on your iPod. That's the one I'm best at. Round one, ten dollars per question. Um, I really don't know the answer to this, but you know, you got your options yes and no. I'm just gonna put yes. The answer was no. But I didn't know the answer to that one, so um yeah, that's that's just how that works pretty much. And then we have Vortex. I'll show you how that works really quick. By the way, guys, uh, ex excuse my sniffling throughout the video. I have a very runny nose, and I'm trying to contain it. Um, I'll just hit resume because it appears I already have a game going. Um, you can also you don't have to listen to the music soundtrack. You just do that uh, right here. Well, there's volume for that. You could select your song or figure out what's playing right now while you're playing the game. Yeah, I'll just go to resume. As you can see, you got a paddle here that you rotate, and the ball bounces back and forth to break the bricks throughout a circle and then once all the bricks are broken you go to the next level um, to pause music it's just the play and pause to pause the game you hit menu and then um, I'll go ahead and save and exit and then we also have uh, notes I really don't know how that works screen lock you can set a combination lock for your screen so people don't just get into it and do whatever and then there's also a stopwatch. In the settings menu, uh, you can adjust your brightness. I like to keep mine down at about 8%. Usually save some battery, but since we're on video, I'll keep it up so you can actually see it. Um, there's about, which tells you I have 24.8 gigabytes used. Most of it is audio, a little bit of video not sure what else hit the center button you can see all the songs videos podcasts and just everything you have on there and then this gives you your serial number and everything else um, shuffle you can set it to shuffle everything that you're listening to there's repeat so that if you listen to an album it'll just start it back over you can adjust uh, what appears on your main menu and your music menu volume limit adjust how high you want to allow your song volumes to go. Um, audiobooks. EQ, which uh, is different settings for listening to your music. Acoustic, bass booster, all these different options here. Usually, um, when I'm listening to music, if it's not on off, I use bass booster, but usually it's just off because I like the generic setting. Um, sound check, not sure what that is. Clicker, that is when you're scrolling through. Um, it'll have a click 
for when you're scrolling through things. You know, I like to keep that off because when I'm listening to music, I don't want to hear the clicking sound while I'm scrolling through the menu trying to find something else to listen to. There is reset settings, which will just reset all the settings that you've chosen and set them back to factory default. And then there is shuffle songs, where it will just shuffle all the songs that you have. But, um, yeah, and... I guess if I have to show you one other thing, I'll just show you how the music menu works. You know, just go to artists, scroll around. If you have enough artists, it'll do that. It'll show you the uh, alphabet, so you can just scroll through every artist in that letter of the alphabet. And just uh, let go to stop right there. Press the uh, center button. And you'll see you got your album list here, or you can just go to all songs and select a song from there. You go to your album, pick the song, and then it uh, it'll start playing. You know, you got your song title here, artist there, and uh, album there, and there it'll display the uh, album art. But yeah, and then um, to turn it off, just hold down the play and pause button, and then if you don't want it to turn back on, just lock it, and then the next time you want to use it. Just unlock it, and it'll come right back on. Uh, pretty convenient. Um, yeah, that is my review of the 160 gigabyte iPod Classic. Holds 40,000 songs. I believe 2,000 movies. I'm really not sure about that. And uh, photos, I don't know, because I don't put photos on my iPod. Um, it's. I like it a lot. It uh, holds all the music I could possibly find, all the movies that I want to have on it, um, pretty easy to use, and um, yeah, this um, my friend wanted to know if the screen is small, really it's not that bad, I like watching movies on it, and um, I hope you enjoyed the review, I hope it was useful, and uh, thank you for watching.